Predictions of a close election holding true to the bitter end in British Columbia tonight, with early returns showing the New Democrats and the B.C. Conservatives locked in a tight battle. The province saw a record number of people cast a ballot during advanced voting, but an election day storm stalled that process in several areas. Let's go to NDP headquarters now, and CTV's Kathy Lee is standing by. Kathy. Heather, the speed at which the results are coming in have slowed down a bit, but certainly that hasn't dampened the spirits in this room. Energy is still up. People are having a good time. They're cheering still, and we're all just waiting for the final result to come in. Now, officials had hoped that with the electronic vote tabulators that the results would have come in much quicker. Again, as I mentioned, we're still waiting for it. Elections Canada says um, the last two ballots are being reviewed again, and that is what the holdup is for. Now, the B.C. NDP and B.C. Conservatives have been flip-flopping all night when it comes to elected and leadings and riding. So here's the most updated result here. Heather, um, the NDP is elected and leading in 46 ridings. The Conservative elective and leading in 45 ridings. And the Green Party elected and leading in two ridings. Uh, again, leader Sonia Firstenau was defeated in her riding. Now, this kind of election day, election night should not come as a surprise. It's very reflective of what's been going on during the election campaign. Very tight between the B.C. NDP and B.C. Conservatives. However, a year ago, I don't think anybody would have predicted just how much momentum the B.C. Conservatives have received because being a fringe party for the last 50 years and receiving only fewer than 2 percent of the popular vote, this is astonishing. But here we are. Now, a couple of factors that political experts have said that have led to this could be because of the federal conservative wave, could be because the B.C. Liberal Party that rebranded to the B.C. United pulled out six weeks before Election Day so that the center-right vote wouldn't split. But it has been a tight race. What matters to voters, though, is electing a government that is going to address issues like housing crisis, affordability, public safety, and also um, and also the, uh, the health care. Now, regardless of who wins tonight, Heather, it is going to be a dramatic and exciting finish all the way to the very end. Heather. All right, and still waiting for those final results. Kathy Lee in Vancouver tonight.